here's what you will need. An LED strip, a motion sensor module, an N-channel MOSFET transistor, and a 1K ohm resistor. Now let's go over the motion sensor module. Okay, this is the motion sensor chip. Um, on the bottom, you see we have the voltage, output, and ground. The output goes to the MOSFET. Uh, next, we have the PIR chip that handles all the processing for the chip. Um, now there's two modes, single mode and retriggerable mode. Single mode says after one trigger, it'll wait a certain amount of time before it can be triggered again. Whereas a retriggerable mode says every time it senses motion, it will reset the delay time. Next, we have the two knobs at the top. And the first one is the sensitivity adjustment. This can be adjusted between three to seven meters. Clockwise decreases the sensitivity, whereas counterclockwise increases the sensitivity. Next, we have the time delay adjustment. This knob allows you to adjust the time delay between five seconds up to five minutes. Um, turning the knob counterclockwise decreases the time delay, while clockwise increases the time delay up to five minutes. Next, we have an optional socket to attach a thermistor. Here is the 3.3 regulator, which regulates the output pin of this chip. Finally, we have an optional socket to add in a photoresistor. That way, the chip is only active at a certain level of brightness. Here is the schematic for the project. The motion sensor module has three pins, VCC, ground, and the middle pin is the data pin. That goes through a 10K ohm resistor, which goes to the gate of the MOSFET transistor. How does the MOSFET transistor work? Well, when the gate sees a voltage coming from the motion sensor module, it allows electricity to flow between the source and the drain of the transistor, basically acting as an electrical switch. Now we have the voltage tied to the positive pin of the LED, and the negative end of the pin goes to the transistor, which opens and closes it to ground, turning it on and off. Now that was the prototype. Let's look at the final schematic. Basically, we have the same thing, except we have a status LED circuit. Basically, I added in a toggle switch that turns the entire circuit on and off. When the circuit is turned on, this status LED turns on regardless of motion being sensed or not, but it activates the circuit to sense motion and turn on the main LED strips. I have this in place to be able to tell whether the module is on or off and save electricity when you're not home. Okay, now let's build the prototype and test it out. Here you can see me move my hand in front of the motion sensor and the LED strip lights up for a few seconds. Also notice that the blue LED light is on as long as the circuit is activated. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it clockwise to lengthen the time delay. I move it about 10 degrees and let's see how long it takes for the LED to turn off. So just by that small turn, it shows that it lengthened the time delay up to 21 seconds. I'm going to now use some perf board to put everything together. After soldering everything, this is what it came out to. Now I'm going to build a small enclosure around the perf board so that there's no live electricity accessible to the user. Now I'm just going to cut out some pieces of wood to make a square box. Here it is after putting it together. And now I'm just going to stain the box so that it matches my furniture in my room. I used a dark walnut color because it will be less likely to be seen under my bed as well as matching my furniture. Here it is after being stained. And now I'm going to take my circuit. I'm going to plug in my motion sensor module into the circuit and I'm going to put it into my enclosure. On the other side of it, I'm going to put the nut on the toggle switch and that'll hold everything into place. Next, I'm going to take my status LED and feed it into the circuit as well, like this. Here you can see it's sticking out the top. And then finally, this last hole here is where the LED connector goes. When cutting the LED strip, make sure you cut between the four dots so that it has two dots on each side for positive and negative. Now we're going to open up the connector and slide in that strip into the connector so that the two pads touch the prongs. Now we're going to close on it so it stays in there. 
Next, turn the LED strip around and peel off the backing to it to expose the adhesive on the LED strip. Now I'm gonna stick it under my bed. Now I'm gonna flip the switch on. And here you can see the lights come on when it senses motion. Obviously that was too short, so I've drilled another hole so I could see the time delay knob. And I'm gonna turn that so that it lengthens the delay time. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. This was a pretty simple project. Um, it doesn't require any software coding. The cool part about this is it doesn't have to be just applied to the bed. You can put it anywhere, like in your closet, um, in your drawers, anywhere around the house. The module itself goes for around $2. The lights themselves were around $8, and the MOSFET was a little under $1. Plus, I still have a bunch of the LED lights left. I used probably less than a quarter of them. So be sure to check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if there's any other projects that you think I should try. Thanks for watching.